Yo, this is Dumpy Soul 13. Bring your rage to Man. Alright, so we're doing raid on a treadmill again. And today, we are going to be doing uh, some Dragon's 20 testing, right? So, what do you need if you're running the F2P Trinity and you're playing fusion events? Exactly what kind of champ are you looking for to progress through the dungeons? Easy, all right? So today, we're gonna be breaking down exactly what kind of champs you're looking for from guaranteed, guaranteed champ events, fusion events, and uh, promo champs, and also, when you open shards for these events, what kind of champs exactly are you looking for, right? So first, let's do Dragon's 20, because that is kind of like the creme de la creme, right? Like that's the... Let me get my vitamin drink. All right. <sighs> Check my heart rate. Okay, we're... Working a little too hard. Let's slow down a little bit. <laughs> Trying to do some zone two cardio. Uh, all right, so one way you know you're doing zone two is if you can talk while you're doing the cardio. That means you're not dying yet, right? <laughs> all right, so let's. All right, so we already talked about clan boss, what the minimum luck you'll need to beat clan boss. So the minimum luck you'll need to beat clan boss is pulling, I mean, brutal clan boss and nightmare clan boss, is to pull a decrease attack champ. And that champ is going to be um, Coffin Smasher right here. But to get through Dragon's 20, what you really want is a. I already figured this out. Carry champ that can revive, or a um, control champ. So we'll run it through with a carry champ, uh, with a control champ first. I'm not sure if my carry champ will be good enough. I picked Brogma for this role as a carry champ. So I'm gonna. Kit him up a little bit, see if he can get through. He's still level 40 though, so it's gonna have to be some pretty good gear, right? <laughs> we'll see. So let's do uh let's do this first. So this will increase so Gnarlhorn is actually one of the best control champs in the game. We have it rare. So Gnarlhorn is actually one of the best control champs we have available in the game. Well, let's, uh, let's move my face, shall we? There we go. Good. And the reason why is his AoE Provoke is 100% chance to land, right? So you literally only need to get Kale and maybe a couple of champs through to the Dragon boss to beat Dragon Sony. So the rule of thumb there is if you're dying at the wave, your control or your carry champs are not good enough. And if you're dying at the boss, it means your poisoner either needs more accuracy or needs more HP, right? So generally you're shooting for 40 plus K HP. 50 K would be better. I know it's hard to get early in the game. Especially with uh, when you're trying to double Kale as your arena nuker as well. That's why I do suggest that once you do get Dark Elaine and you still don't have an arena nuker, that somehow she becomes your arena nuker. That way it frees up your Kale to be your boss killer. Or if you actually do have a boss killer like a Frozen Manji, 
you know, um, what's the other one? The Eurogrim, Eurogrim. Uh, Ninja actually is really, really good if you were fortunate enough to have Ninja. But yeah, see? So we're getting through the waves. And it's mostly at the back of Gnarlhorn. Now Gnarlhorn, doesn't need to survive all the way through to the boss. So this is kind of what I'm telling you right here. See those AOE provokes right there? That's all you want Narlhorn to do. And that's all you want your control champ to do is just keep the wave suppressed. Even for just one round. That one round will buy you the time to snowball your comp into beating that wave, right? So yeah, because you got Kale, you got uh, decreased defense from Simple right here. So the same comp, all right. So what have we established the first two videos? So the first video we've established that. Dragon 15, I mean Dragon 16 and Minnow 15 is beatable with just the F2P Trinity. You don't need a carry champ, you don't need a control champ. You just need five champs that have that are six star and have masteries, you know, not even, honestly, if your gear is good enough, but yeah, when you first start, of course, your gear won't be great, which is why you need a lot more champs to get through these early stages. Dragon 16 is like your gateway to farm the gear, right? To get to the decent enough stats to get through Dragon 20. But even with amazing stats, you still need help. So, the two quickest ways, guaranteed, and not guaranteed, but this is the simplest ways. So one, Gnarlhorn is a component of the Rosin Fusion, you know. So he's actually worth six starring. You can probably keep him a 50 at first, if you're really afraid of having to sack him to get Rosin. I'm just saying, Rosin doesn't really change the game for you as much as Snarlhorn with. Uh, I'm saying that with a straight face because it's true. <laughs> when you're first starting out in the game, Snarlhorn is simply better than Rosin. Yeah? So what's next after that if you don't pull a Snarlhorn? The other one is to try to go for the Broadmaw fusion, in my opinion. I think Broadmaw is good enough to get you through Dragons 20. Uh, yeah, I, I think he is good enough to get you through Dragon Sunny. And he actually pairs pretty well with Valerie, since he gives you more buffs. Then Valerie can extend the buffs, and then put that little defense thing on, you know. We'll see. Because Valerie's heals are dependent on the amount of buffs you put on. So it does kind of add up. I mean, it's not great, but it's something, especially earlier in the game, you know? Uh, let me put this, put that aspect away. It's kind of hard to use the stylus while walking. But yeah, as you can see, like I said, once you get to the dragon, that's it, it's game over. So I'm not cutting any of this out. Feel free to fast forward from here, no big deal. Because the next test we're going to do is so we're going to try to gear up um, Broadmaw, actually. Try to see if he can survive long enough to, to get us through Dragon's uh, 20. So for your carry champ, you want them fast, like 200 speed. But really, I know that's hard to do earlier in the game. Um, so just as fast as you can get him with about as high as HP as you can put on him. And the goal is for your carry champ to live long enough so he can revive Kale or War Maiden, or if you're using Simple, Simple. So War Maiden and Simple, we've already proven, are interchangeable. You know, because like the big thing with Simple is a lot of his potential is based around how much books you can get. So yeah, Gnarlhorn on the team, 
So really, I've done this with all rares before, when I first started in the game, like, oh, how long ago was this? Maybe like a couple years ago now, like a year and a half ago. And the team was, I think, Apothecary, Apothecary, uh, Kale, War Maiden, and then Gnarlhorn and Coffin Smasher. That was the five. And that, that team is good enough to, to beat Dragon 20. I actually used that to win an all rare. Well, not win, like, place fourth, I think, in the all rare Dragon tournament before, the first time they ever did it. <laughs> Alright, so, we've already proven that you just need one good control champ to get you through Dragon 20. Check the heart rate a little bit here. Okay. We're good. We're in the zone, baby. We're in the zone. Zone 2. That's what you want. Zone 2. What is zone 2? 180 minus your age. So me, that would be uh, 35. So 180 minus 35. One, well, my max heart rate is, has to be 145. So I'm right at 142 right now. That's zone 2. Yeah, and then the minimum would be 10% of that, something like 130 something. I don't know the exact number. <sighs> All right, so we want to take Broadmaw and we want to put 